that we're able to make the distinction between which is of this part is my, the emotion and which of this part is the act of my will or my desire for that person. My, my wish, my desire, and my prayer that all of us continue to move toward healing and forgiveness. These are great things that we can carry within our heart, that we can be vessels of compassion. Hello, this is Father Sunny and welcome to another dose of Holy. It's good to be with you this evening and we are continuing with our forgiveness series. We are on the third of the series. Today, um, I would like to underline the idea that forgiveness is an act of the will. Uh, the reason why I would like to underline this particular idea is because when people come to me and tell me that they are unable to forgive someone, um, I find, uh, as a, upon investigation, that most of the time people say that when they still feel hurt by the, f the memory of something that happened in the past. For example, maybe 10 years ago, um, your, um, you know, maybe a family member hurt you and um, really, you know, scarred you, f uh, you know, really, really bad, okay? So, um, Ten years that was ten years ago, but um, every time you remember the, you know the uh, the event of what happened, or you remember the f the the things of the past, you always remember that particular moment, and then um, you realize within yourself that you still feel hurt, you still um, feel unhappy about the whole situation. Uh, you probably still feel a little bit like uh, maybe disappointed about that particular person. So uh, uh, you start to ask yourself, have I really forgiven this person? Um, maybe even like sometimes when you go back to it, you still feel like you don't like that person because of what he or she did. And, uh, and so you question whether you have actually forgiven this particular person. And so the, uh, the uh, idea is that Forgiveness is not based on your feelings about the memory of the past. It's not based on whether you uh, actually still feel unhappy or frustrated or maybe even mad about what happened in the past. Um, because those are feelings. And feelings um, usually are beyond our control. When we feel something, it usually is evoked as a natural response to a situation, whether it be happy or unhappy, it is that something that we can control. It's a natural response, usually for something that is good or something that is bad. When something good happens, of course, we're happy, we feel positive, we feel excited, we feel joyful. But when something negative has happened, something bad has taken place, um, it's normal for us to feel annoyed by it, disappointed by it, unhappy because of it. Uh, maybe frustrated or whatever, whatever, whatever else. So uh, forgiveness is not about the feeling that we feel because the feelings are natural. They just happen without our choice. Forgiveness um, is connected to love in that to forgive is to love, right? In fact, uh, St. Paul in his exhortation about love actually does say it. He says to, be, to love bears all things believes all things, you know, and uh, forgives all things. <laughs> but at least the bears all things is a big one. To bear all things, it's, it's a, a form of forgiveness. So um, I think it is it's very obvious that forgiveness is not to be understood in, in, in terms of the facts of feeling. Instead, it is understood in terms of what is it that you really want? What is it that you really desire? And uh, one of the things that we know that could be used as a litmus test, whether you have already uh, started forgiving or you are, uh, you've been working on forgiving this, this person, or you might have already forgiven this person completely, when you have, when you are forgiving that person is, one, that you still are able to, despite of what happened in the past, if you are still able to wish that person well, that then you are forgiving then you have perhaps already forgiven 
or if not forgiving. Uh, because um, the worst thing that you could do is to desire the 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 harm on other another person. When you have murderous thoughts about the person, then you probably have not yet forgiven. But if you desire the good of this person, even though you have been wronged by by this person in the past, that you can still desire that that person change or that person becomes better or you to wish the person the best or the well, well, you have forgiven. Um, another um, good, perhaps, litmus test to uh, whether you are already forgiving is as an act of your the, the will, if you're able to pray for that person. So sometimes uh, when you are able to pray for that person, it means actually that you already have a positive desire for that person's good and well-being. And if you do that, that means your will, your mind, your choice, um, your um, your internal, your intentionality, okay, um, is directed toward forgiving that other person. So I think uh, we it's very very it's essential that we we ha- we have to a clarity between those two things uh, to separate. But we are trying to forgive someone, or when we are when we are asking ourselves whether we have already forgiven someone who has wronged us in the past, that we're able to make the distinction between which is of this part is my, the emotion. And which of this part is the act of my will or my desire for that person? Because most likely than not, we're able to make those two things distinct from each other. The emotion will always be there. It will always, you will always feel bad. Every time you remember it, you still feel bad. Every time you remember it, you can still have negative emotions. And yet, it's possible that by your desire uh, to, for the good of that person, that you have already moved toward forgiving that person. Of course, the ideal situation is that... Um, that you don't have to struggle anymore, even even upon, even in your memory. Uh, there are some situations like that when maybe in the past, you and your best friend maybe had some kind of a fight, an argument, and you exchanged unhappy and very unkind words to each other. But then after that, you uh, kissed and made up and uh, are still very good friends today that when you talk about the particular topic or the particular m- moment, you can laugh it off already. I think something about that uh, is the probably considered to be considered as the best situation. But if you're still feeling that, oh, well, you, what did you do during the time? If you still feel unhappy about it, it's emotion. It's not necessarily that you haven't forgiven yet. It is just that you haven't healed yet. Okay, so there's another another, another distinction. So the act of the will, the act of forgiveness, is an act of the will doesn't mean that you have already healed. The healing can take place in different aspects of your person. And perhaps emotionally, you haven't yet healed. And yet, you can say spiritually, you probably have already forgiven and, ex- and, and extended your peace to the other person. So, um, it is my, uh, in, my, my wish, my desire, and my prayer that all of us continue to move toward healing and forgiveness. These are great things that we can carry within our heart, that we can be vessels of compassion uh, on behalf of God, uh, as God has been compassionate to us, as I said in our uh, first episode of this series. And so today, uh, let's, um, let's be very, very clear and honest about that. So before you go to bed tonight, if you, have, uh, if you remember a person, if you are struggling about a about memory about someone of the past uh, who has maybe done you wrong, why don't you think about it tonight and pray for that particular person as an act of will that you would like to desire to, to, to forgive that person and move toward completely forgiving and healing, okay? <laughs> so, um, this is uh, your Dose of Holy today. I am Father Sunny, and uh, and uh, see you again tomorrow for another one of the series. Until then, I wish you and pray for you a happy, holy, and healthy life. God bless you.